Hey guys, this is Red Silvers. Merry Christmas and welcome to Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, this is a tradition I'm actually stealing from Brick Road. Uh, he has this thing where he does a full game video and puts it out on the YouTubes on Christmas time because nobody's making videos, so you don't have anything to watch. So, I'm actually going to do this as Knuckles just to mix it up a bit because I haven't played as Knuckles in a while. So, let's see. I actually had to pick up a new controller. So this is also the first video that I'm actually going to be using this new controller. The old one that I had was not working. And I had a backup that I had before that I was able to put out a Guardian Legend video with. It's not actually Christmas yet, but I'm getting this all taken care of so I can do the post-production. Because, uh... That's just what I've been working on, is holiday stuff. Today I packed up my Festivus gift and sent that out. So when that arrives, hopefully it'll make somebody's day. Uh, Festivus is a Talking Time Secret Santa tradition. This is my first year participating in that. So I put together quite the grab bag of uh, goodies, and I really hope that it makes somebody's day. So I'm going to try and do a full clear of this game and get all of the emeralds. Ooh, that was almost a tragedy. And I do love me some Sonic and Knuckles. game that I bought my Genesis just to get. And I actually was going to randomize who I was going to play as. And the only person that I had online that I could ask about it was Narishim, who, as it turns out, has never actually played this game. So, he didn't really have a strong opinion on that, and I just thought, well, you know what? The last time I did a Sonic video, I was playing as Sonic. I put out a race where I was Sonic, so just to mix it up, I thought I'd play as Knuckles. I'm going ahead and we get to continue from this, which is another benefit of getting the Chaos Emeralds, is you'll get lots of points, and that gives you lives and continues. Which were at, lives were at a premium during the Sonic 3 race, so it makes sense. My thought is that having Knuckles here, I can do things a little bit different. I haven't actually played as Knuckles in several years. And if you're expecting like a speed run or a crazy let's break the game run, that's not really what I'm going for. I know I like this game, I just don't know it that well. So here we have a troll. This is not actually the mini boss of the stage. Now, we're technically in Act 2, as far as the game is concerned, but we haven't actually switched Acts yet. Let's go ahead and do a mini-game here. Ah, this is the Electric Spheres mini-game. You have the potential to get a lot of rings in this one. Because the higher you get up, the higher the ring gumballs will give you. And when I was a kid, I used to think this was the, my least favorite of the mini-games in Sonic & Knuckles because they also had a, uh, a slot machine game. If I can get an electric shield, all the better, but if not, I'm not too worried about it. Let's see here. Oh, there's my electric shield now. See, like, that ring right there was worth 30 rings, and that just gave me a 1-up. I don't really want that fire shield, though. And then at the top here, they just give you 1-ups. So if you're running out of lives in this game, you're just not trying hard enough. And it makes sense in, like, the races that we ran out, because nobody was trying to get Chaos Emeralds in bonus stages then. Speaking of which, here's another Chaos Emeralds. So I'm a little curious how well my memory is going to hold out with this 
gameplay. Especially when we start getting into Sonic and Knuckles levels. Right now we're doing stuff that I'm still f remember from my race. Although, of course, that was uh, also playing as Sonic, so things are going to be a little different anyway. Let's see, this is the room I want to do last. And if I do little things like that, the idea is that I'm trying to get the perfects when I do these stages. So that's why I'm leaving those barrels, because if I use a batch of blues that gives me coins at the end, or rings rather, then you don't get the rings because the stage will end and you don't get the perfect award for picking up all the rings. Whoa! The speed threw me off there. Let's see. No, there's one more area here that I'm looking for that's got... There they are. Yeah, so there should be one more batch of these, and then I can go back to that room that I skipped. Yeah, 16, that's right. Okay. So there's the perfect. Then we'll come back here and get all these. I don't know why I remember that six. that's a group of 16. Just little quirks that you remember and you don't really know why. And we're going to get another continue off of that, because we're going to go above uh, 100,000 points now. The perfect is, is worth a continue each time, so that's what the benefit there is. Yeah, and we're still in Act 1, but the music is totally Act 2 music. It's really noticeable now. And there's where I'd be able to get an electric shield if I didn't already have one. This is where the game splits and Knuckles takes a lower path here that Sonic actually can't get to. They fight the same boss, but they fight a lot of the times in different arenas. I'm not sure, but I think that boss might take less hits for Knuckles too. So that's Act 1 down. We've already got two of the seven Chaos Emeralds, so we're making pretty good progress. Now, I know if I was playing as Sonic, this stage starts out with a Chaos Emerald stage, but man, I don't know if Knuckles can access that. I don't really know Knuckles' paths as well. I'm not really worried. I'm sure I'll get plenty of Chaos Emeralds. I'm going to try to get all of them. If I don't run into pits and, and hurt myself like an idiot. See, that looks suspicious to me, that big wall right there, but... There's a shield up there. Well, <laughs> you hit a sh get a shield and get hit. I guess I should be glad that it, the shield hadn't activated yet. Hmm. It's weirding me out. I feel like I'm, there's all kinds of stuff that I'm, I'm missing. Whoa, fix the... Bump my mic there. I just feel like there's all kinds of little secrets that I'm walking past. I could have done a... I could have done a test playthrough for this, I suppose, but... Where's the fun in that? Then you wouldn't get to see me walking around blindly being lost. Am I already at the end of the stage? Nothing in that wall.
Well, I know that there's some places there. Let's do a mini stage and get some more rings. Okay, we got the slot machine game. And I got a jackpot right off the bat. I think that's a hint. Get out of here. Because you can keep trying for more and more rings and press your luck. But... Let's see, what about nothing. Nothing. Nothing, tra-la-la. I love how the shields repel that sort of projectile. Come on now, I'm not close. And now I'm at the end of the stage. And this is not where uh, Sonic fights his final boss either. So... A strong start... On Chaos Emeralds and then nothing. Oh, come on, Knuckles! And the downside is Knuckles has to actually wait for that to get down low enough that he can jump and hit it. Also, uh, Knuckles jumps lower than Sonic in this game. There's a couple places where they use that as a way to divide up routes. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to go a little bit different route since I'm Knuckles here. Good old Hydrocity Zone. Okay. That's not the wall I was thinking of, but hey, free rings. I'm off the edge of the stage. Oh, but that was totally a something down there. That's one thing that's obnoxious in Sonic games is when you pass up a s item, a secret like that, and you only have one shot to get it. And maybe it was just like rings or something, but I think my point remains. up, I wonder. There's all kinds of little tricks in these games, too. Little things that I see and I've never figured out how to get. For example, the one up in the first stage right before you see the mini-boss the first time, when you run up the tree. You got a bubble shield, that means that I don't have to breathe. There's an alcove here, but I don't think it has... Yeah, that alcove did not have anything. And I will go ahead and go on record as saying that this is a little bit trickier with Knuckles, because you can't jump as high. Nothing down there. But here's one. I knew there was some somewhere. Okay, this one's pretty simple. It's got all... The whole stage just about is shaped in these little alcoves of 16 blue spheres. And all of your rings are from those. So this is a fairly simple one. I think you just have to skip one set of the two in the entrance to get it perfect. And 
And there's this one room that kind of is a little off. And a room of four little ones. Okay. Well, I missed a couple there. Whoa! Slow down. Yeah, so here you want to jump so that you miss that one so that you can get these rings and then you can get that. And that's how you get the perfect in this stage. Not too bad. I'd like to try and get uh, two more Chaos Emeralds in Hydrocity Zone, but I don't know if I will find them. And we got two uh, one-ups off of that one because of points. So that's pretty cool. Alright, I think this is uh, the end of the stage here. See if I can remember. Knuckles can't. Knuckles has a little bit harder time with this boss because of not being able to jump up and hit him. Want to go this way? Yeah, I always, I always had a tricky time with this boss. With knuckles. Okay, I didn't get him that time. I've got one ring, so I'm still okay. There we go. Alrighty, that's Act 1 down. Act 2 is a pretty big one, too. And it starts out with this, uh... This chase here, where... It's actually a little bit different in this version than it is in regular Sonic 3. Because this is a 1-up. And it's a spring, it actually trolls you in the regular game, in the regular Sonic 3. And that always threw me off in the... when I was doing the race. But we're doing alright with it. I guess the benefit of playing as Knuckles instead of Sonic is that the game will be a little bit shorter. Although, how much of that I'm adding on to by doing all of these uh, special stages? Give me a lot of rings. Oh, hey, we got my ugly mug. That'll be enough to get a continue. You get a lot of continues in this game. A lot. So when I don't get a jackpot, I just kind of try and go as long as I can. Eventually you will make all of your end zones into exits anyway. Like that. Uh, ooh, that was almost a Robotnik jackpot, and that's never a good thing. You never want to land on Robotnik's ugly mug. We're actually going pretty good on this. Damn it, Tails! You're not helping me, Tails. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! No! And now I'm going to land on... Yep. <laughs> that sucked. I paid for my hubris. At least I got some rings 
right away there. Hmm. Okay, I knew there was something down there. I guess it was just that ring. Another one of Knuckles' benefits is he can do, go back and check out stuff like that and not have to take the long way back. See, there's something in the wall right there. Maybe I gotta come around the other way, though. Thank you. Okay. Kinda didn't need to go back there. Um... Why can't you jump all of a sudden, Knuckles? Uh-oh. I'm gonna drown. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. That ain't gonna work. Oh my... <laughs> I, I didn't think I was gonna make it out of that. I really didn't. <laughs> that was like split-second perfection. No, it wasn't perfection. Perfection would have been, been not failing terribly. Okay, here's one. Number four, which I seem to remember being a really obnoxious one. That might be the Sonic and Knuckles fourth one that's really obnoxious. I know I'm making some of these look easy, but it's really more practice than anything. Let's see here. Okay. One, two. Okay, we'll leave that set of four until I am sure that I don't need it for something else. Oh yeah, this has got the big center area. That's right. saw it over there. And you turn this great big thing into rings. Yep, and then it's just got the four that I left. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And there's our perfect, so we just gotta go find those ones that I left behind. we go so that one wasn't as bad as I was remembering none of them are really hard although Sonic and Knuckles will throw in yellow spheres that make you jump and that's always a kind of a harder part so you have to have to make jumps where you can't see what you're aiming for Okay. What else is up here? Oh, and I can't jump that high. Those are spikes. They don't feel very good. They don't feel good on the spikes. No, no. But don't sing along. Especially not when the music that you're singing to isn't going to be in the video and you're going to do really terrible at trying to match it up. I'm not Torgo. I'm not going to get music timed perfectly to singing like that. I 
I'm lucky when I can time stuff outright. Didn't go for a bonus stage that time. Whoop! Sharkpedo. Is there anything over here? Nope. There's all kinds of hidden paths in the, this game. And I totally screwed something up there, I feel like. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. I don't have a clue. Okay, so this is where this was. Get on there. So you see stuff like this and you just have to investigate. Especially when you have that option. I don't know if I actually want to do that. Oh, here we go. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Okay. I want to leave this room. I'm remembering this one now. Yeah, okay. We're good. Got this one figured. This is the big room that we want. Whoa! Pay attention now, don't mess up. You know when you get in the zone and you just kind of suddenly space out for a second and you throw your groove off? That's what I did just there for a second. I can't even explain why, it just did. Okay, so there's one more set of nines somewhere. And then there's that room that I didn't go to. So... Alright, this is getting ridiculous. Let's look for... There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Sit there and go in circles for 20 minutes, why not? back here where we can get all of these to finish off with our perfect yet again that's more like it fifth emerald well I said I wanted to have five by the time I finished this zone so I guess I did not disappoint not at all Three hundred and seventeen thousand points. See, I, I'm glad that I, I sat here and backtracked like that. It almost turned into a tragedy. And another knuckles only path. I will say that the benefit of playing is Sonic instead is there are some really cool parts of the game that you get with just Sonic when you go to, or, or Tails, but when you go to the Hidden Palace Zone, the Boss of the Lava Reef Zone, those are both really cool parts of the game for Sonic that Knuckles just doesn't get to join in on. And just to make this area Knuckles only, they added in the... Oh, are you serious? They added in the Knuckles hovering section. Sonic could already be his boss by now. Come on, give me uh, 
Not the slot machine. Here we go. Maybe I can get another bubble shield. There we go. Don't want that shield. Don't want the electric shield. There we go. Get some rings. That REP one will add another bottom there, but... I don't really want another bottom. I just... Let's head out with what we got. I really wanted that bubble shield. And I want to know how Jasu glitched this boss like three different times, two different times in the Sonic 3 race. I don't like this boss. Oh, that was brilliant. I just feel like this is a hard, much harder boss for Knuckles than it is for Sonic. Tails can just fly up there and wreck him. And I'm probably just not fighting him very efficiently. There's probably a really easy way to to fight him. Get that ring, please. Shit. So now I'm out of rings and my shield. I think we'll be okay. I missed him. Oh, I hit him. I landed on him. If you're gliding, those bombs are not your friend, by the way. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on, Egg Robo. Yeah, that platform gives you just enough of a boost. Get the ring. Good. You do listen. <laughs> Thanks, game. Thank you. I don't like this boss. Oh, the best part with Knuckles actually is going to be in Casino Night... Or, not Casino, Carnival Night Zone. Um... I don't know where I am. There I am. That's weird. I don't think these bombs like it when you glide too much. I'm sure I'm just not fighting this boss efficiently. I'm sure. And it's not just with Knuckles. I have a hard time with this boss with Sonic, too. I just can't ever get these bombs to work right for me. Get him! And just because I can't get the bombs to work doesn't mean I'm going to give up on them. I just... Don't want that to happen right there. This may be my least favorite boss to fight with Knuckles, other than uh, the final form of Robotnik in Knuckles and Sonic 2.
just because uh, it's annoying. He doesn't have very many windows of, to hit him that I can hit reliably. Well, that time I just fucked myself over. And you guys are thinking, and this is just the second zone, he's got so far to go. Oh well. We'll be alright. I'm gonna try not to keep floating when that happens. I think I'm just getting greedy with my hits. What I should do is be counting my hits. I'm not even doing that. But then shit like that happens. Get the ring! I'm not even going to worry about these bombs when I don't have rings. It's just costing me too much. Come on now. I gotta hit him though. This is ridiculous. There we go. See, I got 75 seconds left before I run out of time. Yep, there's. I'm past the 9 minute marker now. Oh, this is terrible. And that's when it gets Retsu Parade, or whatever they call that. 30 seconds. Well, this will give me an idea how tight on time I am, though. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, where am I, game? Shit! Well, I would have been out of time anyway. So, all those lives I stockpiled? Hey, isn't that good? Fucking Robotnik. <laughs> or Egg Robo, whatever. It's actually Robotnik. And while we're doing obvious der spoilers, um, the mysterious Mr. X in Mega Man 6 is in fact Dr. Wily. Oh, I missed him. What's that? Two hits? Maybe I'm doing this a little smarter. Oh, come on! How can you hit me when you're that high up? That was quantifiable bullshit. 
See now, if you come down to pull up that or something, your window of time to hit him, fuck, would be better. <laughs> This whole video is going to be like a half hour of me fighting this one boss. Is that ridiculous? One. I can use like a bunch of remixes of the boss themes from Genesis Sonics. Maybe I can tell that not a Vinebot guy to do a death montage for this game. Five. Fuck. Six. Maybe I need to not try flying is part of my problem there. Seven, bitch. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Shit, shit, shit. There we go. I have never been so glad to be done with a boss fight in my life. <laughs> Time bonus, not happening. Ring bonus, <laughs> no way. And we blast off to the Marvel Garden Stone. And this is another one of those stages that's got all kinds of sprawling paths that I feel like if you could really figure out, you could really speedrun. I would legitimately enjoy seeing a speedrun of this game that did not involve, like, vertical scrolling glitches and all that stuff. I think it would be quite enjoyable. I was watching uh, the live speed run that the guys from Awesome Games Done Quick did. Oh, it was where I wanted to go, apparently. That's okay. Like, I feel like in this stage, there's stuff you can do with the tops. There's stuff you can do with the zigzag... With the zigzag patterns. And if you knew how to do all of that, that's what would make you... would make a good speedrun of this game. But instead, it's like, if you go in this wall here and push this button, then you'll drop through the floor and weird, crazy stuff like that. Which is interesting, don't get me wrong. 
it's just, you know. If I were to watch a couple of guys racing the game they and they did that, it would be really boring. So all this is going to do is cement the fact that I'm terrible at Sonic games, except for the mini-stages. That's okay. Anybody that's subscribed to me already knows that I'm terrible at video games. Unless it's a Sonic 3 race. Or a pentathlon, apparently. I'll go through the top half of that instead of the bottom half, just because why not? Top halves are cool. Hmm. See, like, you see stuff like this and it makes you wonder. And see, and I needed to go that way, so now I'm going to go a different way that I don't know. And I don't have where all the rings are memorized. It's more like I'm pulling off of vague memories that may or may not actually tell me anything. The same memories that tell me you can z zoom there and not hit a bag of spikes. So how reliable is it? That's okay. Now see, here they take advantage, they give Knuckles a bonus because he can't jump as high. Why couldn't he get that for that Robotnik boss? I don't know. That's okay. I don't actually mind. Sweet free fire shield. Still need two chaos emeralds. This is a, a very zigzag zone right here. Marvel Garden 2 has all kinds of these platforms that It's like, well, if you know what, that that's a good place where you could learn how to speedrun, why don't you do it and commit it to memory and shut up about it? Oh, this is another place that the boss Sonic and Tails get is much cooler than the way that Knuckles fights him. Well, there was nothing there. Okay. I was expecting to find, like, a big ring, and instead I found... I don't know what. The problem with these big sprawling zones is if you don't know them well enough, it's really easy to get lost. That one's to fake. And then you don't know where you're at in the stage if you do take a path like that that was a little different. Here we go. Number six. I think this is the one... Oh yeah, this is a the one that you get more than a hundred rings in. This is a big one. So if I go this way, I get this one. That's it for that direction. And now I get to go sideways. Now we'll go 
this way. And then... Did I fuck it up? I fucked it up. Ooh, I had to do double two jumps there. Everything's fine. We're fine, everything's fine. How are you? And that's our perfect. So now what we're gonna do... Let's just get all these side ones. And we're good. And I have no idea how long I've been recording for at this point. One more emerald, guys. We're not even halfway through the stages, but of course, the latter half will pick up when I'm not doing all the Chaos Emerald stages. In theory. I think I can get that before I... Thank you, jerk. I was gonna say, before I'm done in this zone... And maybe I will and maybe I won't. I feel like actually it's like right up here. No, that's not the one I was thinking of. Also, that stupid porcupine fish down there that knocked me off my top gets me every time. Every single time. And you'd think I'd remember and not get hit by him the next time, but no. Let's see here. See, I don't like the... Thanks, game. I don't like the slot machine as much as the other mini games, and that right there is why. With both of the other mini games, you're guaranteed to leave with as many rings as you started with. But this one, you honestly don't can't say that. And I'm not doing very good this time around. Well, that'll make up for it. All right, I say let's 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 bail while we got a good thing going. But yeah, the others you're guaranteed to walk away with something. These are those zigzag platforms that I was talking about. So you figure right there, there were four paths that you could have taken, four ways you could have gone, and rather than. Taking a specific one, I went the default way that the game forces you. So, could one of them be faster? I don't know. I suppose I'll be lucky if... Uh... I'm a little curious how many people are actually going to sit and watch this whole thing. That's okay. All right, here, I feel like if I go this way, there's a bunch of crap. But I was expecting, no, it's right here, okay. There we go. Uh, this one's kind of annoying. This one offhand, I don't remember the trick to getting a perfect in. It has a lot of these weird uh, diagonal sections. So it's hard to make out in your head sometimes. Hmm. 
I need to get around on the other side there. I think I need to use that one strip of those. But I'll leave one just so that I can still get a perfect, because I don't remember. Somewhere there's that big batch. Oh. Well. I guess I messed that up then. But there's like a big bat right there. There we go. Fuck. Ooh, I, I thought I'd think I would get the perfect, but I guess I can... I can... No, I'm not going to get the perfect this time. I fucked it up. Yep, I'm going to be a ring short. Well, that sucks. But I'll end the stage backwards instead, just to make up for it. Well, I cocked it up. But I got all the Chaos Emeralds. I don't know what prompted me just to decide to do this tonight. But I just felt like doing it. Now Knuckles can be Super Knuckles! Now he totally has enough rings to do it, too. Though he can't, because he's got the shield. So I gotta go get my top again. Because you don't want to see Knuckles topless. It's not pretty. I guess I didn't need the top. I could have tried going normally, but... Okay, this I think is where, there's, where the game's gonna branch. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, this is where the path branches and Knuckles has to climb. So we'll climb. And that's their way of keeping Knuckles off of the Sonic path, where you fight the badass boss. If you don't know the boss is that Tails carries you and you fight Robotnik that way. Unless you're playing as Tails, in which case... Mainly doing this so that I can get rid of my uh, superpower so I don't lose up all my rings. If you're Tails, you fight the boss alone, whereas if you're Sonic and Tails, you both fight. And then I went super anyway, so hey, that was a waste of a... Waste of a mini stage, but that's okay. I've actually used a Game Genie, and you can make it so that Knuckles can jump as high as Sonic, and you can still get to that boss fight. And Tails will still be there. It's, and it's badass, is what it is. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I should have been fighting... Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. So that's what Sonic and Tails get to fight. Knuckles gets this... This I'm gonna... Ride the rails... Guy. Which is not nearly as interesting. In fact, he's really kind of boring. Especially when I can't, he can't actually damage me. But that's not his fault. So now we're gonna really speed up the video because we're gonna go through Carnival Night like it's nothing.
Because Knuckles gets the shortest Carnival Night Zone ever. And since I don't have to go hunting for rings, I'm not gonna bother. I suppose what I could have done is done one of the weird, crazy character replacement hacks or something like that, but... That can be another thing to do another time. And, of course... Carnival Night Zone for Sonic has always been my least favorite. Knuckles, it's really not too bad. No. I'm not even worried about getting rings and bonus stages. I'm just roaming through this time. Because it's boss time. Against Robotnik's giant vibrating dildo. You hit it, and then it'll open up. And then it's it's it actually has to hit itself. You don't actually damage it. Ah. And because I bragged about how easy this is, now I'm going to pay for my hubris. That's okay. This is going to be a fun little project to process, too, because I get to get all kinds of music I don't have. Come on. Come on, now. got all the Chaos Emeralds. This should be like child's play. I have to admit that the, the casino, the carnival night glitch they did for that speed run was pretty cool. Seriously? Seriously? Seriously. There's not even any rings right here. Let's at least see if I can find get some rings. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I deserve that. I deserved it. Okay, so I've got to remember that he electrocutes and that you can't... I swear I've played this game before. I gotta love that. I fight a boss that you fought a million times in Sonic and Knuckles, die a hundred times. Fight Ridley for the first time ever in Super Metroid. Pull off crazy speedrun death tactic. Okay. I'm going to pull this off. And then I'll tell Vinebot to make a death montage or something. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. There are dogs barking upstairs because we have three chihuahuas. And they're never barking at anything in particular, they just bark. Okay. He's gonna be electrified. <sighs> Come on, Knuckles. It's you and me. This is our destiny. I totally screwed that up. And this is just my ADHD getting a hold, getting a, hit, a hold of me and making me do that. I'm just not going to sit here and stress it. I'm going to be relaxed. Let him come to me. Okay. I do not want to continue in the Carnival Night Zone. That would just be freaking ridiculous. Like, you should record a video today, Red. What do you want to do? You just got your new controller. You could do more Fantastic Dizzy. You could head into that final area in the Guardian Legend. No, I'm going to fail repeatedly at Sonic and Knuckles. And give uh, the people on the YouTubes something to appreciate. And by appreciate, I mean mock. And then he's not. Whoa! No, go hit him! He's over there! Thank you. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> okay. There's no escape. There is that, though. So basically, that was there, and I had that as a get out of boss fight free card. And I didn't take it for 20 lives. Okay, I know it wasn't 20 lives. Still. That would be it would have been a big help like 20 minutes ago. Thank you. Thank you. Carnival Night Zone. And I completely forgot there was a big ring there. I bet somebody was watching the video and yelling at it. So you can get up to Sonic section of this stage using one of those rotating platforms. But why would I want to do that when Knuckles can just come up here?
and go through his... I'm gonna break the game stage. I don't even know what just happened there. I really don't. I, like, died by getting knocked into a wall. So, take a chill pill. In fact, I think when I think at the at the stage transition, I am gonna go and get me a drink. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna go get that drink right now. I'll be right back. in zone 2. That I was not expecting. I thought I'd just be back in zone 1. So, I was all prepared that I was going to have to fight the boss again and be ready to be angry McCrabby Pants. But we're good. That was the best tasting sip of soda that I've ever had. Let it be a lesson to you if you're going to be recording for the YouTubes. Have a refreshing beverage on hand. So, I sure hope you guys weren't expecting a competent run of this game. Because I sure am not providing that. I gotta stop trying to rush. It's like I'm. Oh, this is a like one minute zone, so I can afford to sit here and go fast. See, now I've got a shield and I've got some rings, and more importantly, I don't have a million spikes below me. Yeah, aim right for the spikes. Do it twice. Okay. I'm trying to fire early so I don't fire into those spikes. And <laughs> I, I, I am. I just don't know what to say. Can we hurry? Please hur get into the ice cap zone. I would very much like to go into the ice cap zone now. In fact, it's not even fair to the zone, but even the music to this zone just grates on me. And Torgo, bless his heart, he used a really long version of this song. Oh my god. <laughs> As I was saying, Torgo used a very long version of this song. In the race. And I was the one that suggested him to the playlist, but I didn't realize he was going to use like 10 minutes of Carnival Night Zone music. And Oh dear. Oh well. Keep calm and flutter on. See, that needs to stop happening. Right there. That's a pretty good example of what needs to not happen. This is supposed to be a cheery Christmas video. We got the red and white going on because we're knuckles. And 
And instead, I'm reacting like I just got socks. Instead of that... Red Rider... Whatever... BB gun... Pants... Of justice... I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Okay. Let's turn this around, Knuckles, you and me. Okay, we're gonna work together now. We're gonna not hit those spikes. There we go. Doesn't that feel better? Oh, and there's even a save point. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. Thank you. You and no boss fight, the stone's just over with. So now we've got that behind us. Let's head into the ice cap zone because I need good music. sure you don't get to do the awesome snowboarding section, but that also means that nobody's going to be singing City Escape and making me get a game over. What's that? You're singing it anyway? Well, oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's get some rings. And I am one of the, the millions of people that think that Ice Cap has the catchiest music in this game. But that is in, in no way a testament to the rest of the music not being good, because most of the music in this game is good. We'll get that so we won't have to worry about going super. Because I want to listen to this jam. But yeah, it's, it's not that, that the rest of the music in the game is bad. It's a game with several good tracks and that was a good way to bypass the long uh, knuckles floaty section there are rings that just don't know what to do I've got rings like trailing the atmosphere the entire zone trying to find me okay, let's get go unsuper here ah we got a chance to get a bunch of rings. That won't be one of them. A one-up. We definitely need more one-ups now that we're not getting uh, Chaos Emerald stages. And I think as a kid, I thought this was the worst stage. Or was the most obnoxious. And it's really the better mini stage. I think as a kid, you just want to do slot machines because you think gambling's fun. And then you realize that no, it's, it's not. Hit the button, please. But yeah, Ice Cap Zone's gonna cheer me right up. I'm gonna head down this way. Just because I feel like it. Poor boss time. I see this is another boss. Knuckles can't hit it. Sonic could hit it while it was way up there. Knuckles just has to kind of deal with it. That's okay. I knew Ice Cap Zone would cheer me up. Because I love this zone.
And this song will always be my favorite Sonic song ever. Although I have to say, one song that, that recently went a lot higher in my list is from Generations. They did uh, City Escape. Not, uh, Crisis City. Crap. Losing my shield and losing my life. <laughs> but uh, they did uh, Crisis City. And I never heard that music before because I didn't play Sonic 06 because I was a smart person. But... So my first experience was playing the... the classic version of that stage and I just loved that song. Quite a bit more than I thought I would. Okay, here we go. Sometimes those platforms don't like to cooperate. This is a very different version. This stage is another one. Sonic and Knuckles paths are different. And I think this is where they have some, there's some robotic platforms coming up. That I did not remember. That was actually a very devious way of using those ice enemies. Okay, get me above 50 and then we'll call it good. I would like lives, don't get me wrong. I just don't want to get a Robotnik troll. So... There we go. So just get a few and get out. Don't get cocky. There's the Robotnik platforms. These ones can be a little finicky when you've got Tails and you're playing with Sonic, because he'll he he will mess up the timing. And I feel like well, I had to go super there to get out. But there's a big ring somewhere around here too. that I'm not going to get, because I'm going to go after Robotnik. Robotnik Eggman. I actually recently got back into reading the Sonic comics. Um, I read them f about for about a year, year and a half when I was younger, right around when Sonic and Knuckles come out, actually. That was the first comic that got me into it, was they had a Sonic and Knuckles tie-in. And I stopped reading them, but then the Mega Man Sonic crossover came out, so I got that. And I really enjoyed it, and I've been actually reading the Mega Man comics again, too, but I decided to keep reading the Sonic ones. Because they kind of rebooted his entire universe. So, right now, you don't really need to know a whole lot of the backstory to know what's going on. And you know what, I'm actually going to do something kind of boring here and farm some lives. Because you can, if you get position it just right, you can zoom through these and these birds will come in and just start giving you points. And eventually you'll get to where every five birds will give you a life. And since I've only got a handful of lives, I, I don't mind taking a moment to do this. We'll go till I get about seven or eight lives. I'm 
No, oh, and all of a sudden my PC lagged for a moment there. But I've really been enjoying the comics, though. I, I the Mega Man ones I went back and I just bought uh, issues one through sixteen. So there's only a handful of them that I need to get, and now you will have the full series. But I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So, I know there, there's a big ring down here. Well, that bird following me was my own fault. I was punished for my hubris. Okay. Let's not start doing this again. For a lot of the longest time, I thought that uh, I did not care for the launch base zone music, but it's grown on me. I even like the version in the PC version of Sonic and Knuckles. Wouldn't it just troll people if I used some of the, that music instead of using the Genesis ones? That probably won't happen, but... Who knows, maybe I'll throw them in. Depends on how much music I need. Seems like I'm going to need quite a bit for the Hydrocity boat zone. Which will make uh, Torgo happy. I'm certainly doing a lot better now that I'm past that, uh, out of the Carnival Night Zone. Although I need to not run headstrong into enemies, at least I'm having a good time. Thanks, Pepsi. I don't think this version of the stage is very is dramatically different from Sonic's. I know for a fact that level the second zone is very different. I actually saw a a walkthrough of this game using a glitch and they played as a character called Blue Knuckles. And it was basically, it was Knuckles, but he was blue because the game thought he was Sonic. And that kind of sounds like a really boring thing, but it actually, there was a lot of glitches that it would cause because the game wouldn't know where to put him, like starting out zones and stuff. He'd finish off a zone, and the game would assume, okay, well, you're Sonic, so you're going to start here. And you get things like the water would start at a certain level in some stages and become impossible. Some areas you just couldn't get to because the game would assume, well, you're not playing as Knuckles, you don't need to go here. So there'd be places where the game would auto-scroll and lock you out of an area that you're in because it doesn't think that you're supposed to be there. Like in uh, Angel Island Zone. Knuckles goes through that rock way down low and fights his boss. So you would do that, and the game would think, well, your boss is way over here, and it would load up Sonic's boss, and it would scroll you off screen and kill you because you're not where the camera was trying to lock onto. And it was. And they had to use. They had to glitch out the game in some places just to to advance because they couldn't fight certain bosses.
I think this is an odd case where Knuckles has to fight a boss that's harder than the one Sonic does. Because Sonic only has to fight one of these guys. Knuckles gets to fight two of them. And usually, you know, they don't do that dramatic of a difference. And I just lost my ring. That's okay. There we go. Now, see, Sonic would be way different in a different area here. And so, in that Blue Knuckles glitch, when they would load this next zone, they would load that you were down here because you fought Knuckles as a boss. But then, because it would think that you were Sonic, it would load the water level from Sonic's version of the stage. And this would all be underwater. And since the game is not expecting you to be down here underwater, it would... You wouldn't have any chance to get oxygen, you would just drown. And then you'd, you'd restart and you'd be in, Knuckle, in Sonic's version of the stage and be able to proceed. So just little things like that would happen in that walkthrough. I didn't watch the whole thing, but it was pretty interesting. That was another person that did the whole game in one boxer, and I think I just lost that fire shield. Yep. I missed my sparkles. I got there fast enough that the sparkles would have still been there, but because I scrolled too far off screen, they vanished. That's okay. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Let's get rid of that guy so we don't have to deal with that. I guess this is the way I'm supposed to go. No? Up here. That's more like it. I think Knuckles is actually going to have to fight the final version of Sonic 3 here. Which, for whatever reason, when you're playing this locked on with Sonic and Tails, they don't have to. I think that's what's going to happen here. I think even though it's the same stage, like, the background is different because you're in the game... When you're Knuckles, the game just... That's its way of making it seem like you're not in the same place. That's a reasonable assumption. Also, I need some bow air. I need some air. And I just lost that platform that I think I was supposed to take. But at least I got air. Precious air. Will that platform come back? Yes, okay. This one I remember if you go this way, it's a little quicker than taking that the other way. But yeah, did you see how at one point I actually made the water come up? That puts it more in line with Sonic's version of the stage. Hmm. If I could have gotten two more rings, I could have gotten a bon that bonus stage. That's okay.
Now... Yeah, now we fight the final boss of Sonic 3. With the, the big arm. And for whatever reason, he's in a different spot, because you fight him as Sonic and Tails on the Death Egg. So... I think this one takes nine hits. Okay, don't lose your rings, because you're going to need those. What did I just say? gonna be a hateful fight without any rings. That's okay. I think he's a little bit easier to fight than Sonic, actually. That might be why they throw him here. He's gonna come in this way. Okay. Come on. Maybe that's why they throw him here, because they figure he's a lot easier to fight with Knuckles. Like that! Blam! I wonder if there's like a chronologic a chronology with how this is supposed to play out, how Knuckles is the timing in Knuckles stages relates to Sonic's. Now he's gonna drop a bomb. Which brings you into the Mushroom Hill Zone, the first zone of Sonic and Knuckles. And you get these glowing rings, and this one's not in the regular version of this stage when you play Sonic and Knuckles by itself. And now all of our Chaos Emeralds are going to summon Super Emeralds. And unlike, uh, before you get to choose which stage you do. So... Ah, uh, shoot. Sorry, can't answer my phone right now, dude. Uh, I'm sorry. My phone doesn't have a, a big fancy silence button. So I can't just block the call. Oh, that's distracting. I am so sorry about that. Uh, this is actually the second stage of Sonic and Knuckles because you can do them in any order here. I am so sorry about that phone there. Okay. Now for this one, they, it's kind of tricky how you get this. And I'm actually going to do this backwards. One, two, three, four. And that is our first Super Emerald. Oh man, that's not even the first time that I missed a call from him. I will call him back, don't worry. And nobody was worried about that at all. So now we are going to get into the stage proper pretty soon here. 
And I used to remember where all of these were for Mushroom Hill Zone, and with Sonic you could get all of these before you left the Mushroom Hill Zone. I don't really remember it that well anymore. That's okay. We will find what we can. Also, now we can't go Super Knuckles anymore because we used up the... We don't have the Chaos Emeralds anymore. We gave them up. And I've never actually gotten to this part of the game in the Locked On game without having all the Chaos Emeralds. So I'm kind of curious what would happen if he didn't, how that would work out. I'm just trying to get my bearings a little bit here. And even without having all the Chaos Emeralds, it's still good to get rings. When the game wants to cooperate, anyway. Sometimes you just might as well just not do it. That's okay. Let's see, I think down here, actually. And I know this isn't the only one that, in this stage. So we'll do... this one. Oh yes, this one. So they trick you and they hide some rings from you over here. And then... There's this whole section over here. That you need to get. You don't well, you can do it in different orders, but this is the way that I like to do it. And then you can go around the outer area. That's just the way that I learned to do it, anyway. Maybe there's, maybe that's not the most efficient method. Hmm. Do that, and my reasoning is that it's, I like to get those trickier jumps out of the way beforehand, then you don't have to worry about jumping. So it makes sense. I'm not sure how long I've been recording at this point either. Super Emerald number two! I know that wasn't the only one in this stage. I can say that almost factually. What is this? I don't remember this. I remember recording music from this game on a on a Walkman. Boy, let's let's date ourselves a lot here. On a Walkman, just so that I could have the music from this game to listen to at school. Eh, 
and it was utterly ridiculous. Here's no, that's not a ring at all. Well, I'm not gonna go super nuts looking for him. Now, see, this guy Sonic could get a couple hits on before he comes down. Knuckles has to wait. Luckily, with my fire shield, he's nothing. And free stuff, because why not? So, I think I can have all of the all of the uh, next ones before I get to the Sandapolis zone. That's another branching point for Sonic right there. And I actually want to work my way up to Sonic's path if I can remember how to do it. Which means not using the mushroom. But yeah, there is a way to get up to Sonic's path. And I want to go up there because there's a big ring there. Okay, in fact, I believe... My bearings here. Is this not the right way? One nice thing about this zone is it's divided out into seasons or levels of death or whatever you want to call it. Like, the stage was all green before, now it's all orange. Nothing in that one. And so only the very beginning of this stage, and only Knuckles' the section of it, is green. This might be the right way. Well, it was, but I botched it. But pretty sure that was the way I wanted to. I'm trying to go. And I think that just is a shortcut right there. So. Boy, it's a good thing I promised you guys this wasn't going to be a competent run, right? So. I am not going the right way. I'm going further from the ring. There's a ring down there, totally. I'm gonna get lost in this zone. Trying to, to root out what my childhood remembers. Let's see. I might just have to write off that ring. Oh, here we go. Okay. I may run out of time anyway. Who am I kidding? Okay. Up here. Okay, I think. Now I'm up here. Here we go. 
here it is. You got this platform here. You come up here. That was a long way out of the way to go to a part of the game they didn't want me to get to. Let's see, we'll go to this one. And this would be the fifth one. This is another one that I don't really know what the most efficient way of doing it is. I just know the way that I learned to do it. And it's not too hard. I don't really feel like any of these are really hard. And they just take some figuring out. Now see, somewhere here there's going to be some loose rings that we need to get. So they... Uh-oh. No! Messed up on my turn. And once that happens, you're pretty much screwed. So basically I just made went through all of that hassle to get up here so that I could fail. Isn't that great? <laughs> That's okay. We will get the next one. Thank you, Mr. Chicken Man. Well, anyway, there's another big ring over this way. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, there's, there is. It's right down here. So let's not fail this time. We'll do the same one because I feel like vindicating myself. Like, I guess you could speed this up by doing that and jumping over the middle just right, but I'm not really big on doing that precision stuff. Let's see. I'm going to go do this way first. So I can get those rings in the center. And get them out of the way before my speed gets up higher and I choke. That's a good word for what happened. I choked. But it's not going to happen this time. We're going to get us another Super Emerald this time. So maybe we will have to go into Sandopolis to get one of, one of these. Maybe we won't get them all at all. Brickrow didn't get all of them in his Sonic 2 playthrough. I don't think YouTube's gonna like the upload time on this. Maybe I'll upload it early and then just not make it available. Let's see, that was what, our third one?
Yeah, I think that was our third one. I know there's at least one in Knuckles' section of the final end of the stage here. See, now we're in the, the gray death zone. Okay, there's one right here. Yeah, you thought you was gonna get me, didn't you? Okay, I think this is the final one in Sonic and Knuckles. When you're doing them in order. Some rings, get some more rings. And I wouldn't say this is the hardest one, even in Sonic and Knuckles. It just has a lot of these, uh, use the yellow spheres and bouncer sections. That's kind of its gimmick. And this room is kind of different. Because you basically get all those rings in the center there. Let's see... And then if you jump, you can get those two rings. You don't have to jump and you can get the last blue sphere, but there's two rings behind it you'll miss. Okay, so I think that's four. Yeah, that sounds like, that sounds right. Okay. So I think I can get one more in this, in Knuckles' section. And that's, I still feel like I'm missing one somewhere, but that's okay. And maybe I'm misremembering too. I'm not gonna, no. I'm totally missed that one somewhere. So now that everything's all foresty again, that's what's funny. That's okay. I know of at least a couple in the firing battery zone that I know where to get. That was a little close. Okay. Mushroom Hill is down. Now probably this late age with the best music in this part of the game. Flying battery zone. And I love that it's one of the little guys that throws mushrooms at you that's piloting it. And this stage always gave me a James Bond feel on the music. Since we're Knuckles, there's actually a secret up here we can get. Go for it. I will admit, I love the music of this stage. The stage itself, 
not always some of my favorite moments. That's okay though. I know for a fact there's there's one big ring at the end of this stage. What the heck? Gumballs. See, like, this one you will not leave with less rings than you started with. So, it's not a bad one. The rings are always worth just ten, unlike the... There's a one up, but... Not get it. The rings are always only worth ten, but... At least there were something. You're not going to walk out of there with less rings than you went in with. And I dare say this would have been a good zone to have in Sonic Generations. That wasn't man. Not that I mind the Sky Sanctuary. In fact, I like the Sky Sanctuary music quite a bit. It just... I think I would have had more fun playing through a flying battery stage. I remember for the longest time that was one of those one ups that I didn't know how to get. Oh, I know now, but. I remember the first time both my cousin and I got this game on the same day when we got our Genesis. Our Genesis. And he'd never played Sonic 3 before, I had. So the second zone of this, uh, the second act of this zone, or second zone of this act, whatever, uh, has the electric shield. And then you have a it's set up in a way that a bunch of rings will start fall chasing you down. And he thought that was the weirdest thing. He said, are they attack rings or something? And I had to explain to him, no, that's what the electric shield does. So there's a big ring right here. Let's see, I got all the ones on this side. This may be my, the one that I find the hardest. This is the fourth one. And it's just got a lot of precision jumping is why. And it's pretty tame for the most part. This is one of the a weird case where all of your rings are out in the open. You don't get any rings from turning spheres red. I would argue if you're not trying to get a perfect, this one's a lot easier. It's the perfectionist, it, because you don't get this, all the speed ups. So it makes the. Whoa! Whew! So it makes the section at the end here coming up harder. Ooh, crap, crap, crap. And that was a good example of it. Anyway, I showed you how to get the perfect there, and I'm gonna get the points for it. So what I think I will do is if I come back to it, I will not try to get the perfect, I'll just get the spheres. Because it is significantly different not trying to get all those rings.
Oh, I don't want a jukebox. All right, not a jukebox, a jack, <laughs> a slot machine. We actually have a slot machine, a real one in our house. And let me tell you something. You hear those in the casinos and they're loud, but you can still hear the one you're on. When it's the only one in the room, it is very, very, very loud. I always thought this boss was obnoxious, because there's no way to speed him up, speed up fighting him, he just takes time. So it's kind of boring. I love that it, it had robot, it had animals inside of it too. So when I mentioned getting the electric shield on the stage, I just got one anyway, but... Here's where it comes up, though, because you come up here... And... You're just about guaranteed to get it, I think. Okay, not guaranteed, but you come down here and see you get all these rings. And that's the part where it was weirding him out that the rings were chasing him. I don't know, I gotta decide, make a decision. I think I'm gonna go this way, actually. So I usually take the other path through this stage, so just to mix it up. And I don't know why all of those weren't up, other than just maybe the screen scrolling. So there's a little plat passageway up here. And I think this is actually going to lead to a big ring, too, so... That will be welcome news. I... I... No! I was going to say, I feel like down there there's a big ring. There probably was one and I went right past it. That's okay. I don't need to have uh, hyper knuckles to break the game. I don't know that I want to be around magnets that work that well. Magnets, how do they work? There's an odd symmetry between one of the Dr. Wily stages in Mega Man 1 and this flying battery blimp. If you can guess what they are... Then you get a gold star, and I will tell you in a bit. Just concentrating on getting some rings. Big ring? No, that's somewhere else. Get one up. 
Oh, that's okay. We come out quite ahead there. Um, no, I think this is the way I want to go. No, it's not. Disorientation. I'm just gonna. Here's a big ring right here. So let's just get this one without a perfect. It's significantly easier. I've already shown that I can do it, so I don't really need to, to brag on it. And it's significantly easier when you're not trying for it because you don't win, spend all that time trying to get rings. So yeah, it's speeding up a little bit, but... Oh, I missed a, I missed one. I missed one. I fucked it up. <sighs> I deserve that. <laughs> oh well. I mean, as you can see, that was the end of this zone, even. And this is another boss, you can't speed this up. You can't make it fire faster or anything like that. you can make it aim a certain spot, but it doesn't do anything. So... Not a whole lot you can do to speed this section up either. Now sure you can you can get ahead of it quite a bit here. But then you just have to sit and wait anyway. Not a very nice ending to a rather wise great stage, but Also this boss is harder for Knuckles too. It also, Robotnik's not wearing his I'm gonna fake you out mask. But he fires while he's coming around more. So, you have to use your... I guess that's why, actually. I didn't really put two and two together, but it's because they want you to glide into them instead of just jumping like Sonic would. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Fuck. Now what sucks about that is... I mentioned how you can't speed this up. So... I might as well get more rings, because... I'm gonna be waiting for a little bit at the end here anyway. In fact, we'll just ride that right up.
Okay. One. Two. Get out of there. One. Two. Get him on the next round here. I never really put that together though, that they wanted you to glide into him instead of jumping until just now. So I am. I still need three super emeralds. And this is where. Now I'm. It's a lot scarcer where they are that I know of. Even if I don't get, I'd still like to get them all. Even if it's not till the end of the lava reef zone that I do. Sandopolis is a cool zone that I don't like some of the mechanics that they go for. I love the the Egyptian theme, and I love the music, but it's a very big stage, and the second zone in particular is just long. There's at least one spot where they've got... not there. There's at least one spot that I know of where there's a big ring hidden in the sand. It has the tomb feel to it. And it took me a while to figure out how the tomb works in it, too. So that's part of it. But it's not a bad zone. It's more enjoyable to me than the Carnival Night Zone. And I can't even argue against a bullshit death there, because I'm the one that did it to myself. Let's see here, what's up there? Nothing. There is a... This might be where I'm thinking of. Well, that's not... Wasn't the big ring I was expecting, but there were goodies. Why wait for the platform when you can just do that? I don't think that's where I'm thinking of. And maybe that's what I was thinking of when I was thinking of something hidden under the sand. You know what I mean? There's some goodies. You jerk. It's okay. Everything's fine.
Definitely, though, in a regular Sonic and Knuckles game, this is the low point to me. That's okay. I don't know how long I've been recording for either. Two hours, maybe? Okay, don't let that block fall on you, because it can and it can fall and kill you. It's just gonna send me up anyway. They do do some neat things in this zone. No! They do do some neat things, I just don't know. Where any of the big rings are. But it has atmosphere, so I'll give it that. Um. Knuckles will just bypass that then. Can I... Just trying to see if I could get on that wall. Do all this experimentation live on the air. Don't know your way around before you start playing. You know how it is though, you just get to where you're like, it feels like there should be something hidden. Like right there, for example. Oh, and the boss of this stage is one of those obnoxious ones that takes forever, too. I think. And the slot machine just is not feeling me today. Like, at all. Don't push your luck. And here he is, too. And, like, there's, there is a trick to fighting him. It's just... It takes time. Because you can't fight him directly. Come on. So you just have to sit here and wait for him to jump. And jump. And it just takes time. And then it only takes one hit to actually hit him. So it's just time consuming. In fact, I know for a fact here that, that this takes place after Sonic's been here because the ghosts are all released. And that's the mechanic in this zone that I don't really like. I just feel like it, it's... The stage would be fun on its own. It doesn't didn't need that gimmick. 
I'm not really, like, upset about it or nothing. I'm just kind of speaking my mind. Sometimes there's nothing to talk about in these videos, and sometimes there's all kinds of stuff to talk about. So this I always thought was really clever. Let's see if I can get up here. That's not the right one, is it? This one. Get to the top of. Why do you keep giving me the slot machine? Oh. Thanks, game. <laughs> Thanks, game. For taking away all my rings. And then giving just two back. This is seriously how it's gonna go, huh? Okay, it's telling me to get the heck out of here. So we'll do just that. Maybe that's not the one I'm thinking of either. What about up here? Here we go. So, it's the combination. <laughs> Excuse me. It's the combination of timing puzzles and the light, I think. They're both good gimmicks, it's just the combination of them that I didn't care for. And now I am completely lost on this stage. No, I'm right back where I started. Okay. I mean, I guess I could be like, hey, it's it's a what a terrible night to have a curse kind of a deal. Don't hit me while I'm jumping. And I'm not like saying, oh, it's bad game design or anything like that. I'm just saying it's something that I personally didn't care for. I don't want the slot machine! Especially not when you're not going to pay out. I did, I will admit, I like how the slot machine is a combination of Sonic 1's mini game and Sonic 2's kind of mini game. I always thought that was a cool touch. I did always like that Knuckles could get a little bit of a lead on this one. I do, and I do like how the ghosts get more menacing slowly. So it's like, oh, it's a cute little ghost, and then they get all evil with the horns and stuff. I'm not going to get that big shoe. That big shoe, that the speed-up shoe, that I don't think I've gotten at all in this. This playthrough. There's something up there, but I'm not going to have the time to get it. 
No, and I didn't get those rings either. Turn the lights back on. See, I told you I didn't know where any big rings were in this zone. I'm just kind of not getting any of them. I have no idea where I'm going now. Back down, apparently. Now, see, doesn't this look like it should be going the other way? It's just like, there should be a big ring somewhere. Ah, knuckles only section. Oh, this was actually a cool puzzle here. Because you have to push that block. But you can't. You have to push that block to hold that door open, but you can't get it over there. So you actually have to use the sand. And then you can push the block across the sand. I like this use of it. I guess what I'm trying to get at is that this this zone, the second Sandopolis zone, is just trying to do too many gimmicks all at once. And they're none of them are bad gimmicks. They're just all... It just makes the stage itself a very gimmicky stage. Um... Okay, what am I missing here? No, seriously. I don't remember... not being able to get up here like this. Come on now, Knuckles. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Oh my god. I just want to get out of the Sandopolis zone now. I get it, I'm not going to get all of the... Hmm. I get it, I'm not going to get all of the, the big emeralds, because I don't think I know that many big rings in Lava Reef. What am I missing here? I know for a fact that I didn't used to have that much trouble with this. I also forgot that I could do this in a ball. Because I'm silly like that.
See, like, it's got me. Okay. I guess that's what I was supposed to do. And I just didn't do it right. Okay. I feel really silly now. Hmm, hang on a sec. That's where the boss is, but I feel like if I explore, there's gonna... No, in fact, there's uh, Sonic's version of that same puzzle. Or, maybe not the same puzzle, but... I immediately regret this decision. Okay, this boss is kind of not a cool, is a cool one. Because he never tries to attack you. Well, he does, but if you're fighting him like normal, he doesn't ever get a chance to really... And I guess, is he trying to qu squash you against the wall, maybe? How far would he have to... Ow! I wonder if you could possibly suck bad enough to actually run into the wall, if there even is a wall. Okay, Centopolis zoned down. And my drink's all gone. Lava Reef Zone. Okay, this guy is not the same as the one that Tails and Sonic fight later on. And I'm not even sure if there's anything up there, but now I'm curious. And I got 15 lives, so I, let's let's investigate that together. Because that seems like a suitably silly thing to do. Aside from crazy fire bullshit, fuck, need a freaking sh I need a shield. It's like they don't want me to go up there at all, <laughs> and that's kind of why I want to do it. Like I think if I go back far enough. That guy will just despawn, and I can just... Come on now. And I'm gonna do this, and there's not gonna be anything cool up there. Fuck. I, I give up. I'd rather not make this video another hour long. Come on. Okay, fine, I won't get those rings. <laughs> you know that feeling, though? It's like, I want to try and do this. Not necessarily because I know I can, because I don't know that I can. what's up there. It's just more, I want to see what I can do. I'm totally going to investigate that sometime and see what's up there.
Because I know somewhere around here, there's big rings. Probably not enough to do what I want to do. In fact, there's one right here, isn't there? No, that's a... Why are you in the wall? Well, if they're going to give me rings like that, I'm going to take some. Is that the way I was supposed to go? I get mixed up where what the main path is and what side stuff that I'm, I'm trying to track down too. Well, I think I'm at the end of this zone. I totally bypassed every big ring that I know of. Alrighty. I'm not gonna get hung up on this boss for an hour at least. This one's gonna go down now, right? There we go. Well, I guess we're not going to see Hyper Knuckles in this walkthrough. That's okay. We're on to the home stretch now, and for some reason, the Lava Reef Zone goes all cold as ice. I always thought this was kind of an odd design choice. You see changes between first and second zones in other places, but this is the only one that I can think of where it's dra this dramatic. And it's weird because then the Hidden Palace zone is, is the same music. It's just... You know, if they wanted to make the Hidden Palace Zone music get heard longer, why not use a... Uh, make a Hidden Palace Act 2 or something? Why shoehorn out the awesome Lava Reef Zone music? You know what I mean, though? I, not that it's a bad song. It's just kind of weird that the second half of the fire zone is quiet and blue and crystalline. I mean, we're in the middle of a freaking volcano. So, I don't know. One of the mysteries of gaming or something. Come on. Give me a... Oh, that's a 1-up. I didn't really need a 1-up.
Okay, don't get hung up on that now. Please. You're going the wrong way. Get all those rings and lose them all because you had to ride the pat platform like a douche. Okay. Let's get back on track. Jump too soon. That was all me. Alrighty, we can recover though. Come to think of it, a fire shield from that mini stage would have been a good idea. Oh, there's one. That'll help anyway. Or it won't. Both are good options. I always thought those ramps were kind of odd how they would work out that way. Because they didn't just, uh... Because of the way it looped around and sent me backwards. Out of here. Ah, come on. Oh, I get my fire shield back. So there's a silver lining. <laughs> or not. All right, Knuckles. We need to cooperate here. I actually have a stuffed Knuckles that I've had for many years, and I used to have it on my work desk back when I worked at a place that had a desk, and it had personality, because every time I would leave my desk, I would come back, and he would be in a different position. And sure, you know that the real reason is because people were just messing with it, moving it around, but I always thought of it as, yeah, he's got personality. He's doing his own thing. I have since gotten a Sonic to go with him, but the Sonic just does not have the same level of personality that the Knuckles does. And I was always a Knuckles fan. I liked him the moment he showed up in Sonic 3. And I knew he was going to become a good guy.
and we won't have to fight a boss with Knuckles. We're just about to the end of this, I feel like. I don't even know what hit me there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I cocked it up. Let's recover. Or let's not. Get knocked out of your groove. Smooth my groove? No, that's something else. Okay. That's what hit me. It was one of those exploding guys. It totally seemed like something that Dr. Robotnik would use would use. But they look like something that Dr. Egg that Dr. Wiley would use too. As long as we don't get hit by an exploding jerk. And there he is, that's the jerk that exploded right there on screen. Okay, hidden palace zone. Shortest zone in the game for Knuckles. So we're on the home stretch now, guys. Sky Sanctuary Zone! And here's Knuckles' boss rush. First we have the Metal Sonic here. Whatever metal he is, or whatever. There's been so many Metal Sonics. And I love that we play the big ant, big arm music for him. comes over here and he gets superpower. I was expecting his other attack there. Okay, he usually does his uh, his attack where he spits out. Here we go. This is the one I'm thinking of. That's the one that I was expecting. I've never had him do that swoop so many times. So. See, now he's doing this one more. That's the one I want him to do because that's what makes him vulnerable. See, you're cooperating now. Good for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I screwed that up.
And you can't do anything to this first guy here, so I just figured you might as well get caught as soon as you can. And he's not too bad. He's not doing his thing where he lands backwards like he used to do. Take me out of my spin dash, why don't you? See, he's cooperating now. He's doing that. I don't know why he doesn't have to have rings to transform. But that's okay. I always thought this was a cool final boss. And it's unique to Knuckles. The first form Sonic fights, but this form with the Master Emerald is unique to Knuckles. Well, not quick enough. And I think when he gets like halfway dead, he changes up his pattern. I know he doesn't just do this constantly. I need to start trying to hit him faster. That's better. Okay, twice in a row, come on now. Do your attack. Fireball. Fireballs to the face. It's nice when you cooperate and do what I expect you to do. I always love that because when you dodge the first one, then you he won't hit you at the second one just by nature of you dodging the first one. Okay, now he's going to do this where he spits his evil rings out. And I'm going to apparently hit, get hit by all of them. There we go. He's down. And I think that the ending's going to be different because I didn't get all the emeralds, come to think of it. Platform blows up. Well, I saved the emeralds, so I got that ending. If you don't have all the emeralds... In the regular Sonic and Knuckles, I know that you don't save that Master Emerald. You just see Knuckles and he's panting. And I guess that you don't need that one for... You don't need to have all 14 to get this, this ending in this version. So that was actually kind of interesting to see. And I love ending montages. That's all, it was always my favorite thing about the classic Sonic games, and I'm glad they brought it back for generations. So, maybe this wasn't the smoothest video ever, but I still thank everybody that watched it. I hope you enjoy your holidays. I know that it was a lot of fun doing it, even if I got a little frustrated at some parts. 
and like I said, I gotta give a big shout out to Brick Road because I'm totally aping his idea. He does usually does a Mega Man X game for Mega Man Xmas. And, you know, I just don't know any Mega Man X games other than the first one and the fifth one, and I don't have a way to record the fifth one, so... I thought I would do what I could. And I... I've had fun with it. I don't know that I would want to sit down and record a whole game in one sitting like this again. Big shout outs to everyone at Talking Time, everyone at Captain SNES. If you watch this video, I'll know. <laughs> and, and I don't know, what would you consider this? It's, is it still a Let's Play if it's all in one video? It is, and I know exactly which thread I'll post it in. The Not Worth Its Own Thread thread. And we're not showing up on that list is Michael Jackson, who also worked on music on this game. If you didn't know that, uh, then you where have you been on the internet? I totally recorded this ending montage onto a cassette tape. Because why not? In fact, I recorded ending montages from Sonic 1 and 2 also. Alright, we're, we're, we're beyond the skyline now. We've gone into outer space. How much higher does the island really need to go? If you don't have all the animals, the island goes down and lands in the ocean. I'm going to try and time this ending montage just right, because I love when the Sonic and Knuckles theme kicks in at the end. So, till next time, this has been Red Silvers, and have yourself a good night.